Welcome to the next episode of 24 Hour Skyblock. In this episode, there are a couple places that I want to visit. First is the Jungle Temple, second is the Ruined Portal over there, and the last one is this cobblestone platform in the Nether. In between the visits to the different structures, I still want to trade with the villagers. I need to get more emeralds for the cleric so I can unlock the Ender Pearl trade, and I also need to trade with this Toolsmith, Weaponsmith, and Armor to get some better armor and better tools. Alright, so while we're here, let's try to get some more emeralds so we can trade with this cleric. We can do that by growing growing some carrots. Let me see. Oh, I don't have any more bone meal. Do I have any bone meal here? Nope. Okay. Let's go to the mob farm. Let's see how much bone we have. Okay. 23 bone. And we can also take this rotten flesh. Awesome. Oh, more rotten flesh. Cool. Okay. So let's go back up and convert the bone to bone meal. All right. So let's use up all of this bone meal and trade with the farmer. I used up all of the bone meal. I got one stack and 33 carrots. Awesome. Let's trade with this farmer. Hello, villager. All right. We got six emeralds. Awesome. So what can we do with the six emeralds can i buy any glowstone oh yes i can buy two glowstone awesome so i got two glowstone i don't have any more emeralds so what else can i do oh right another thing i can do is get the pumpkins and the melons so let's harvest this and let's also convert all these melon slices into melons okay so i can only get one i don't have enough to trade with the villager so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to start making my way towards the jungle temple i'm going to need a lot more wood and i also need to deposit some stuff because my inventory is full so let's deposit some stuff before we collect more wood all right i finished depositing my stuff let's collect some wood all right, I cleared up all the trees and I got two stacks and 15 logs. That's a lot, so that's really good. Let's see. I feel like the jungle is actually really far away. Let me double check. Yeah, this looks really far away, so I might need to convert all of my logs into slabs. But I do want to keep some logs, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert one stack first. If I ever run out, I can use a crafting table and make slabs while I am bridging. So let's make this into planks and then let's change that into slabs. Let's do it again. All right, that's how much slabs I will take. And I also take one stack of logs. So let me put this 15 logs into this chest. And I think that's all I should take. I do have a bow and arrow and a shield in case any monsters are there. Oh, I don't need two crafting tables. So yeah, let me deposit one. Yeah, I think I have enough food. I think my tools shouldn't break. And then I have a lot of slabs and also scaffolding in case I need to go up and down some things. So yeah, I think I'm ready. All right, so let's start bridging. So I'm going to bridge from the corner of my house all the way to that jungle temple. Let's start. I'm going to sleep real quick because it's snowing. All right, back to bridging. All right, I made it to the jungle temple. Awesome. Let's use some scaffolds and put it here so we can go up and down. There you go. Let's see. Where is the entrance? Maybe down here? Oh, this is kind of scary. Actually, maybe I should just dig in. So let's make an opening inside from the top. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's snow inside. Let me make an opening here. Okay, and drop down here. All right. Oh, no, there's powder snow again. Okay, so I need to be careful of this. Let's clear this. Oh, okay, that's a lot of powder snow. Yeah, I have to be careful because I don't want to fall and maybe fall in the void or something. Let's clear all of the snow that I can see. All right, and let's just continue downwards. Okay, I think, yeah, I think this is the entrance. Let's make a opening to the entrance. All right, I made an opening to the entrance, but it doesn't look like there's anything. There might be things outside of the temple, so let's just make a circle around it just to see. Oh, okay. It looks like there's nothing. All right, let's go back inside and let's go down here. Oh, okay. They closed this area. Let's break this. Oh, okay. More powdered snow. Let's break this. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, I would have died. Okay, let's block them with some slabs. Oh my gosh, so much snow. I'm just gonna break all of the snow so I don't fall into any powder snow. All right, so I can do this puzzle or I could just break through. I think it would just be better to just break through in case there's any traps. So let's break this. <gasps> Ooh, a little frog, awesome. Okay, let me break this block too and let's go in. Oh, two frogs. Wow, so cute. Oh, I love you frog, you're so cute. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, okay, gold, some bottle enchantings. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's collect all of this. And let's also collect this chest. And I think these pistons would be useful and the redstone. So let me also collect them. Do I have enough space? Yeah, I should have enough space. Awesome. Okay, I got some redstone components now. All right, so hmm, I can't do anything with the frogs because I don't have... I don't remember what they eat to breed. I don't think I have what they need. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't want this guy to escape. So let me block this entrance area. Yeah, I don't want them to escape. I'll leave them here. If I find out what they need to breed, I'll probably come back and then breed them. There's water here, so they should lay their eggs here. But there should be more chests or more loot. Oh, wait, don't stand there. I'm going to break this. Okay, I think there should be more loot. So let's explore the rest of the jungle temple. I need to be careful of this trip wire because that will set off that dispenser. I forgot, would it set off if I break this? Let's see. Oh, yep, it does. Whoops. But it shouldn't set off anymore because I already broke it. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. I just walked over the snow and I completely forgot about the powdered snow. Good thing this was a uh, normal snow. Let's continue breaking all of this and replacing it with slabs. All right, let's see what's inside of this dispenser. Wait a minute. Zombie villager spawn eggs? Ooh, okay. Well, I, I mean, I already have villagers in my farm, so I don't really need this. But if I can cure uh, zombie villagers, they have discounted trades. So that would be good. But my inventory is full, so what should I do? Hmm. I can collect these arrows, just these arrow of poisons. And to be honest, I don't really need the cobblestone or the chisel stone bricks because I can always make those. So I'll put them in this dispenser and pick up these two items. I don't really need the arrows because I already have a mob farm, so I'll just leave them here. But I want to keep the dispenser. So maybe I should just, yeah, put down a chest. I can always make new chests. And is there anything I don't need? Probably the string and the snowballs. And I can always make a lever. So yeah, I'll leave those in there. And then I'll take the dispenser. And also deposit these cobblestone, chisel stone bricks, and arrows into the chest. All right. Oh, yeah. Isn't there supposed to be another? Yeah, there's another tripwire there. So let me clear the snow first. All right. Wait, is the frog taking damage? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. I need... No, 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 no. Don't go to any of the powder snow. Oh, no. I need to be careful. I don't want to lose any frogs. No, don't go here. Don't go here. Oh, my gosh. I almost lost a frog. Okay, they're, they're still alive. All right. Man, good thing I heard the frog taking damage. Okay, I cleared up all the snow down here. Oh, no. There's still snow up here. And it's going towards it. Wait a minute. Wait for me. What if a chest was hidden behind these snow blocks? Oh, no. No chest. Welp. All right, I think I cleared up all of the snow let's go back down and see what's in that dispenser or actually the chest first it's not a redstone chest so it should be safe to open it let's see oh okay a lot of things that i already have like the bamboo and then some bones but yeah i'll take them oh wait hello my i think that says friend i something you hmm i don't know what that means I'll just leave it here since my inventory is full. I want to take the cocoa beans, so let's see. I should... Okay, I don't need the bamboo. My bamboo farm already gives me a lot. So yeah, I'll take the cocoa beans. And I also want to be careful of the dispenser. Let's actually loot it first. <gasps> Oh, jungle saplings. Okay, what should I deposit? Probably the string. I already have a mob farm, so I could take that. And let's take the arrows. What about this? A spectral arrow. I want to take this. Hmm. I guess I could get rid of one stack of arrows. I have a lot of arrows at home anyways. But I want to take this dispenser. Yeah, the tripwire shouldn't affect anything. All right, yeah. Let's, uh, oh. Let's grab that and then huh, there's so many items. Let's just uh, I don't even have space. All right, let's see. What I could do is I can pick up that chest on the ground first. So let's see, let's get the chest. There you go, the chest, put it down and then place down these items. There's also some items up here or in here. Okay, it was the arrows, so there you go. Was that everything? Yeah, I think that was everything. Oh, I didn't pick up my scaffolds. Oh, I don't need the bamboos. And yeah, I think that is everything, but I can also collect these redstone. So let's collect this. 
And I guess I can also collect the trip wires. Oh, my inventory is full. Let me deposit this cobblestone. Yeah, I get the trip wires. Maybe I could use those for something. Two more trip wires here. And a couple more redstone over here. All right, awesome. I think that is everything. Let me double check this room again. Yeah, it looks like, wait, what block is this? Is this just, uh, oh, I think it's mossy cobblestone. Yeah, I think I'm done with the jungle temple. I don't think anything is hidden up here. Yeah, I don't see anything. So yeah, I think I'm done. I'll leave these two frogs in here. All right, so let's go back up. I don't want to make a stair up because these frogs could escape. So I'll just make a hole in here and then build up. So they used some mossy cobblestone here so I'll just place down the mossy cobblestone again and yeah I don't think anything is outside of the jungle temple so I think I'm done all right pretty good let's teleport back home Woo! all right I made it back home I have a lot of things so let's deposit them into our chests all right cool I deposited everything I got some bone so I could also use that for the carrot farm so let's turn that into bone meal and grow some carrots all right I got 26 carrots I think that's enough for one trade but I would rather Rather wait for more carrots to trade so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the mob farm and I'm going to start making my way towards the ruined portal the good thing about being here is that I'll be close enough to this mob farm so it should continue to give me a lot of drops so let's see I want to get to that ruined portal maybe I should just make an opening right here and start bridging over I want to continue doing a diagonal bridge because I don't want to waste my blocks going straight and then straight again it's much efficient to go diagonally so let's do a diagonal bridge probably something like this does this look weird mm, not really all right let's just continue diagonally until i reach that portal oh i ran out of blocks let's make some more blocks so I don't want to use all of my wood, so I'm just going to take a half a stack and then convert all of these into... S oh wait, that's a lot of slabs actually. Let's just make probably two stacks. Yeah, let's do two stacks. Alright, I'm almost there. Let's see if I can make it. All right, I made it to the rune portal. It looks like there are some white foxes. Awesome, very cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. What is this one holding? Is that a, <gasps> oh, it's a chicken egg. Oh, okay, okay. There's a chest right here. Let's see what's inside. Some gold nuggets, gold armor, fire charge, iron nuggets, and a clock. Nothing really useful, but I'll take it. Oh, some gold blocks. Uh, I want to get that, though. let's make my way here i don't want to lose this block let's see okay my inventory is not full so i should be able to pick it up okay i want to be safe this gold block is going to be really valuable so let's make a platform around it and please please pick it up yes okay awesome man these foxes are really cute i want to make them my pet but i don't think i can lure them with anything let's see what else is there oh another gold block awesome okay i could use my scaffolds to go up let's make a small platform like this and use scaffolds oh whoops oh whoops okay and let's go up all right let's take this block Yes, I got it. And let's take our scaffolds back. Man, I wish I could lure them. I think the only way to move foxes are with leads. So yeah, I can't do anything with them. Maybe there's something hidden behind the snow. Mm, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything else. All right. I think that's it. I could come back if I ever get more obsidian. I do have my lava duplicator and I could make more obsidian, but I don't think I really need to do this because my portal is pretty close and I think it will just link up with that portal so yeah i'm not gonna make a portal using that rune portal let's go back and see how much items there are <gasps> Ooh, okay 43 rotten flesh and 41 bones oh more rotten flesh awesome so yeah that's actually a lot compared to earlier i should be able to trade with the farmers for more emeralds and also the cleric for more emeralds using the rotten flesh so that's really good yeah let's start farming for more carrots again and then let's go back and trade with the villagers all right, I harvested more carrots. I got two stacks and 55 carrots. I also harvested some pumpkins and some melons. Oh, actually, I can make one more melon. So let's do that. Okay, three melon, six pumpkins. I think that should be enough to trade with the farmer. Hello, farmer. Let's trade with you. Oh, wait, actually, because this farmer is already at expert level, let's trade with this farmer. Okay, hello, farmer. Let's trade with you. 
And I don't want to use my emeralds, so I won't use that. Let me go back to this farmer and trade for pumpkins and melons. Awesome. Now I have 10 emeralds. Cool. I can also trade with this cleric to get more emeralds. So let's see. That's two more emeralds. And is this enough? Let's see. One, two, three, four. No, I just need one more. Oh, I just, okay. So I need three more emeralds. Uh, what else can I trade? What else can I trade? I don't have enough paper. Oh no. Are you kidding me? How do I get more emeralds? Okay. I don't have any more bone meal, so I can't do the carrots. None of these are grown. Oh man. I need more emeralds. Oh, there's more rotten flesh here. Okay. Yeah. Let's look through all of my chests to see if there's anything I can trade. No. No, uh, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. All I have to do is just wait at the mob farm, I guess, if I want to get more bones and run and flesh. So let's wait a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Eight and 22. Oh, that's enough to get one emerald. I could probably get enough carrots to do maybe one trade. Yeah, so let's see. Let's convert all of these into bone meal. So that's 30. Yeah, I feel like that will be only enough to do one trade. So yeah, let's wait a little bit. Maybe enough for the rod and flash to be like about one stack. All right, awesome. One stack of rod and flash and 21 bone. Let's go back up. So the rod and flash should give me two emeralds, but I still need to do some farming for carrots to get one more emerald. Since I already have some bone meal, let's use this. Hopefully this is enough to get one more trade. Yes, it's enough. 40 eight carrots awesome okay let's go back to the farmer hello again all right let's trade oh wait wait, wait. uh i want to trade with this one so i can unlock more things so let's trade there you go two emeralds and then the cleric if i trade this two more emeralds and i have four emeralds so i could buy this glowstone and let's see please please give me ender pearls please give me ender pearls <gasps> yes! Ender pearls. Okay, awesome. All I have to do is collect at max 12 ender pearls for my end portal frame. Awesome. I'm really happy. With the remaining emerald, hmm, should I save for the ender pearls or should I start trading with these guys to unlock some tools or armor? I really want to get some diamond armor because that would be really useful. I think I'm fine with iron tools for now. So let's see. Which one's the armor guy? Oh, okay. So it's the blast furnace guy. Okay, the armor. Oh, seven emeralds. Okay, I can't, I can't do that. All right. So with the remaining time that I have, let's go to the nether and try to go to that cobblestone platform. Before I do that, I have a really messy inventory. So let's deposit some stuff. I don't need this that I got from the rune portal. And what else? So these things that I can use to trade, I should probably just put it in a chest right next to the villager trading hall. So yeah, let me grab one chest and I'll leave the chest just inside and deposit everything that I can use to trade. That way I can always come back and grab these whenever I need to trade. All right. So I was thinking for the cobblestone platform because I need to go down and I can't use water to MLG. I'm going to have to use either scaffold or those vines in the nether. I think I have some shears. Do I have some shears at home? I can use those shears and... Oh, wait, I'm going to need some bone meal to grow them. Let's see, where's my shears? Oh, right here. Awesome. Let me go back and grab my bone. Okay, so 21 bone. I hope that is enough. Oh, I also need some arrows. Wait a minute. Did I leave all of my arrows in the jungle temple? Oh my gosh. Completely forgot about that. All right, let's do a quick run down to the mob farm again. Let's see. Yes, there's a lot of arrows. Let's just grab two stacks of arrows and then let's go back up. All right, and let's go to the nether. Okay, so I need to get those red vines. I can't get the blue ones because those grow from bottom to top. Those red ones grow from top to bottom. Let me grab one with my shears. <gasps> Ooh, wither skeletons, blazes. Okay, awesome. I need to go to the nether fortress someday. Oh, this is really scary. I don't want to hit any of the pigmen. Okay, let's grab one. Oh, I got two. Okay, awesome. So let's go to that cobblestone platform. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to grow my vines from up here. Let's see. Okay, let's line myself. Maybe, is it this block? I think it's this block. So I need to make a, let's use some oak planks. So if I take this and do, do I have to do, I think I have to do one more block, but let's use slabs. So one more block like that. And can I put some vines on this? Oh yes, I can. Okay. So I just need to grow the vines with bone meal and let's see, can it go all the way down? Ooh, wow. That grows a lot. Okay. Let's grow them all the way down. 
Okay, I think I hit the max. Yeah, I think that's all the way down there. One thing I'm really scared is because the pigments are really scary. Let me double check up here. Is there a pigment up here? Okay, no pigment. And the pigments over there probably can't see me. So I should be fine if I shoot the mobs from down here. Oh, actually, I don't want to be up here and then shoot them because they could keep on spawning. So let's slowly make our way down here. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I should get the piglins first. Those guys that are not the zombie ones because they have bows and arrows. Okay, I got one. One last one. It keeps moving. Oh, okay, whatever. Let me hit the zombie ones. They might push it. Is it going to push it? Uh, no. Okay, let's go a little bit down. I don't want to get too close. Okay, yes, I got it. Okay, let's go down a little more and stop right here. Okay, let's use the remaining arrows to shoot them down. Please just drop. Oh, actually, if I kill them, I'll get some golden nuggets anyways. So I don't want them to drop, actually. Okay, one more baby one. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Woo. Okay, I made it. Three nuggets. Okay, cool. What does the sign say? The portal is broken. Sorry. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I don't want this platform to be here. The reason why I don't want it here is because I don't want any mobs to spawn here because it will affect any mob spawning if I ever want to make a piglin farm or a zombie piglin farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these blocks. Oh, wait. What was that? Let me do it again. Oh, silverfish. Oh. Okay, so these are silverfish infested blocks. Good thing they just dropped down, so I shouldn't worry about them spawning up here. I don't want to fall down, so I'm going to leave this block alone for now. Might as well collect a sign, and let's continue breaking the rest. All right, so there's one more block left. I don't want to fall, so I also don't want to hit these vines, so I have to be careful of the hitbox. Yeah, I still see the hitbox for the vine, so let's try to itch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Maybe if I itch a little closer up. Oh. Maybe if I break the block and then immediately go towards the right side, I should be safe. Am I holding anything valuable? Not really. So, okay, let's try to do it. Ready? Go. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost fell. Oh, okay, I'm safe. Oh, that was actually so scary. Let's go back home. And since an hour is almost up, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode. Okay, bye.